welcome to another episode of Carolyn and Her Clothes. So today I just wanted to talk to you about my no buy, how I'm progressing, and uh, what I've been doing to occupy my time. So as many of you know, I decided to go on no buy for the months of January and February. My closet is exploding, my bank account is drained, and I just don't go anywhere and I just don't need to purchase anything. So. I was giving it a break and I figured it was also a good time to give a break as well because the new spring items aren't even really out yet, you know, and I have enough winter. So it's not, not too much just going to tempt me. However, it is like in the teens and even single digits here. There is nothing you can do outside. It is so cold out. So I'm stuck inside and there's nothing for me to do. I can't go shopping, like, uh, so I'm having a hard time here. So what I've been doing, I've been watching a lot of YouTube and I've been reading a lot about the 2022 trends. And so I figured it was a good time um, to also go over what trends are in and what I plan to buy. Um, I have my little list here. If you ever watched me for a while now, I do create my list of things that I want because I'm trying to find unique things for my closet that um, I don't already own and round out my closet and not buy duplicates or things that I can try and recreate the look. All right, so first, how my no buy is going? Well, I told you I'm struggling a little bit and I did purchase this. And I say, even though I purchased this, this doesn't count. <laughs> and the reason why it doesn't count is because I used um, a gift card. It did not come out of my bank account. It's quite boring. It's just a gray turtleneck. Um, you know, I needed it for layering. I have black, I have ivory, I have beige, um, I have red, and I have a light pink sleeveless and uh, an ivory sleeveless too. But I didn't have anything gray. And I really wanted one for layering and I was like looking through a bunch of Pinterest boards um, and I saw a lot of gray turtleneck style with camel and black. So I was like, you know what? I think I need a gray. So. I didn't have any money to come out of my pocket. I'm not gonna style this for you today because it's quite boring. I might style it for you later on when I'm doing an outfit of the day type of thing, but I'm not gonna style this today. Matter of fact, this is not a styling video at all, but I will go over with you some things that I have in my closet already. Okay, so that's how I'm doing. I'm struggling here. I was only a quarter way through this challenge. It's mid-January. I have about six more weeks to go. So it's gonna be quite a tough few weeks. So 2022 trends. Everything in 2022 is going to be mini, all right? We're going to be pretty much naked in 2022. <laughs> What's in? Not just the mini skirt. They're also talking about mini or shrug cardigans. Not even crop anymore. We're talking shrugs, okay? We're talking mini skirts. And we're talking bras as tops. Well, what am I going to do between those strings? So you can guess the bra tops are out. I am not going to be doing a bra top. Um, I already own mini skirts. I don't mind mini skirts as long as you don't see my hoo-ha when I bend over. So if I can get a mini skirt that comes to my fingertips, I'm good with that. I already have. I don't need to buy more. That I know. And cardigans. Basically, so many, they're just pretty much sleeves. I'm actually okay with that. I am looking for a white and ivory cardigan for the summertime to wear over like sundresses and whatnot. So if I'm out and about looking for an ivory or white cardigan and they happen to be shrugs, I'm okay with purchasing something like that. All right, I only own this one shrug here and it's a size small so it's quite large and it's yellow from White House Black Market. I will still keep it in my closet but it is again not what I'm looking for and this is the only shrug I own. So, um, you know, having another shrug is not a bad idea. Okay, so I'm okay with that. The next thing for 2022 that's gonna be popular are all white outfits. Considering I have this white skirt that still has the tag on it from that last year, it's a good thing that I have, uh, this is coming popular in 2022. So this is an eyelet skirt from INC. No, sorry, it's Style and Company, also from Macy's. It, and it's 100% cotton and it's that tiered prairie style with eyelet on the bottom. So totally love this skirt, but obviously I never wore it. So I will be styling this in future videos because I will be using this this summer as an all white outfit since they're going to be in, okay? Next up, that's gonna be in for 2022. 
bold, bright colors, all right? If you've been following me for any length of time, I like a lot of neutrals, like the gray turtleneck and camel and brown and black. Now that doesn't mean I don't wear colors, but the colors I tend to tend to be like pastels and lighter shades and, and very neutral colors that I blend in. Or am I wrong? <laughs> so I said, I really like to follow trends and I don't, I like to be stylish. So do I need bold colors? So I went through my closet and I found this. Okay, this is Vince Camuto and it's a satin blouse and it has like some iridescence and it is green. So this is a pretty bold color. <laughs> and then I found this blouse. This is a royal blue blouse. I got this out of a mix and match. It's by Naked Zebra and it is pretty bold blue color. <laughs> And I have this hot pink Vince Camuto blouse that I got from a trunk club a couple years back before they, when they actually had stylists, all right? Love this blouse, nothing wrong with it. I still wear it, um, but it's bright and bold. And I have this one blue top from White House Black Market. Not as bold as the royal blue one, but still quite blue, all right? And lastly, I have this purple top from White House Black Market, all right? It, it, it's nice purpley top, beautiful. I'm not gonna be styling for you these days. I'm saving these probably for another video, but my point is being that I don't need to put bright, bold colors on my list. I already have them. So this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to look at the trends and seeing what I have in my closet already that might meet those trends so I don't duplicate buy. Okay, the next thing that is coming up is, is that's gonna be a 2022 trend is crochet, okay? I love crochet and I, don't, I looked around and I didn't see anything in my closet that I have crochet. I had crochet years ago, but I had to get rid of it because it was too small for me and now that I lost the weight, I probably could have fit in it again, but it was sad, I got rid of it. Um, I, I would love to add some crochet to my closet, whether it be a crochet top or a crochet dress, a crochet skirt. Um, I have eyelet items, but no crochet. So um, definitely that is on my list for 2022 to buy. All right, next thing that's supposedly gonna be up in 2022 is gingham. I have one gingham top, all right? I, I am not a huge gingham fan. Um, I like this particular one because I like the style and I like the colors. They're soft, they're muted. Um, I'm not big into the big contrast uh, gingham. Like I don't like the black and the white or the red and the white or the navy and the white. It's just too much contrast for me. I like the softer. Um, I would not be opposed to getting something else gingham, but there, it's nothing I need to rush out and get more gingham for because I do own one gingham already. What else is on the list? Cutouts. Okay, I have basically, and I completely forgot about this until I saw another video I had done where I wore this, one cutout top that I'm aware of. It's this, this one, it's by 41 Hawthorne. I got it from a Stitch Fix quite some time ago. Cute top, love it. Do I wear it often? No. And this kind of fits also the bold color category. So there are more items that are gonna be popular in 2022. Like I said, I've been reading, watching a lot of YouTube, going through a lot of blogs, reading a lot of news articles, cause I'm, I'm just very interested in these types of things. Sweater dresses, sweater dresses on my list. I never did get that ivory sweater dress. I thought it was too tight, form fitting. I just did not feel comfortable in it. So I do have a sweater dress on my list. Full leather, well, I just finished series three of faux leather. I do not need to add any more faux leather to my list. What else is gonna be in style? Well, prep school. What does that mean? All right, think about the 90s and clueless. Pleated minis, polos, even crop polos, trousers, tartan prints, cardigans, and even crop cardigans and shrugs. So think about micro mini preppy. <laughs> um, probably not gonna participate in that look, but I do want a tartan scarf, and you'll be seeing why in a future video. Um, it's not just because of this and it's the in. I saw a Pinterest look and I want to clone it and I want a tartan scarf now. All right, what else is gonna be in? Pleated pieces. 
Um, I am willing to try a pleated piece. I have nothing against pleats on other people. I think they're very attractive, but due to my height, they tend to make me look whiter and boxier than I already am. And it's just typically not a good look on me. Um, I would like to try and see maybe if I can find a pleat that would work for me, but uh, honestly, I don't have high hopes for pleats. Silk, all right? Silk um, is going to be very big in 2022. Um, I don't own a silk blouse, and honestly, I would not mind a silk blouse. I think I saw someone, a uh, YouTuber, maybe even a couple YouTubers do lily silk, um, and there's a beautiful, like, goldish color uh, silk blouse that I was like, ooh, I kind of like that, but I'm just not ready to pull the trigger yet. All right? matching sets, whether they're knit sets or poplin sets, just everything like uniform in a single color. Oops. All right, what else is in 2022? All right, this one website said this, and I'll post a picture of what this thing looks like because I did not know. A balakov clava? It's basically a hood that go and a scarf combined. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be passing on that trend. Elevated basics. So you're gonna see a lot of like um, t-shirts with the poof sleeves and um, you know, exaggerated balloon sleeves. So a lot of basics, basic colors, but with um, new on-trend styles. Exaggerated snow boots, ones that are puffy, ones that have Sherpa. Um, you know what, it's okay, I'm set in snow boots. I don't think I'm gonna get any of those. Uh, going along with the, the prep school is the varsity inspired fashion. So plaid pants, the varsity stripes like I'm wearing now, um, and, and mini skirts. Um, I do have the Michael Stars, it's on the Every site, and a couple YouTubers already gotten the Mar uh, Michael Stars varsity rainbow stripe navy top. I want it, I just want it, all right? <laughs> Wide leg pants, definitely in for 2022. Statement knitwear, all right? So it's not just, you know, a beige sweater with the beige things. It's gonna be crazy kind of colors and prints. Quilted outerwear, well, I got enough puffers already and I'm actually looking forward to winter being over where I can put away my quilted outerwear. 2022, if you haven't gotten the, the hint already, showing skin, so the cutouts, the mini skirts, the bra tops, um, you know, backless tops. Anything that's going to show your skin is going to be in for 2022. So I'm going to, I will take partake in that, but it's going to be strategic showing. <laughs> Shearling everything, all right, including purses. Um, th what else is, um, statement everything. So in 2022, instead of looking in the mirror and saying, okay, what's too much and take it off. It's look in the mirror and what else can I add? So statement necklaces, statement earrings, bright, um, you know, uh, handbags, sunglasses. All right. As far as shoes go in 2022, clogs, retro six. I already have clogs. So I don't need to do buy more clogs, retro sneakers. All right. Um, like think of the 80s and, and 90s and the way their sneakers look like. Uh, I am not going to be buying any uh, sneakers. I'm just not a sneaker person. Platforms and outrageous platform shoes. I've got some of those, so I don't need to buy any more. Ballet flats. And you're like, already? Well, I thought they were out. Well, guess what? They're coming back, but they're going to be different this time. They're going to be pointy toe and they're going to have crazy designs. Mary Janes and T straps. Yay! Yay, yay, yay for me. I love Mary Janes. If you don't know me, I cannot wear pumps and I can't wear ballet flats. They don't stay on my feet. Neither one of them. I feel like I have to curl my toes to keep them on my feet. I love a Mary Jane. You know, just that little strap over the top of my foot will keep the shoe on me. So I'm very excited about Mary Janes and straps. So what kind of boot height is it? You know, it's no longer the booties, it's now knee high. So no one's gonna, you know, shame you for wearing your booties. I am still wearing my booties, but the on-trend style now is knee high boots, including cowboy boots. And the boots with a square toe are the most on-trend ones. And other things that are gonna be um, on-trend are really colorful shoes, which I don't think I'm gonna go for, all right? 
Um, and I'm not gonna go for the cowboy boots. I live in New Jersey. I don't feel comfortable wearing cowboy boots. Um, and then on top of that, uh, I have knee-high boots, so I'm not going there. I have nothing against the square toe, but I have so many boots right now, I think I'm set on boots. Um, the other thing that's going to be really in, again, believe it or not, are Uggs and why it follows that shearling plan. There's going to be shearling and everything, including uh, purses and boots, uh, jackets, etc. So that's what's in for 2022 based on what I've seen on YouTube, what I've seen on um, blogs, and what I've seen on, you know, articles like who, what, where, and et cetera, Women's Day, et cetera. All right. So what's on my list? All right. I mentioned that it was freezing here and I work out of the gym every day and today my gym was 55 degrees inside. No joke. It was so cold. You can see your breath. It was so freaking cold. Um, and I have two draw, long sleeve dry fit tees. Well, if it's going to continue to be this cold, I want three more. So that's first on my list. I've already mentioned I do want a, a white or ivory cardigan, and I'm very happy with using a shrug. So, because it's meant for my sundresses during the summer. So, a shrug would be perfect. Um, I was watching, what is it, Mommy's Makeup and Moscato. Uh, that's another uh, YouTube influencer's. And uh, they too mentioned um, the pur purse styles and they suggested a nude purse because it goes great with everything, including your all white outfits. So you know what? I don't have a nude purse. They're right. It goes with everything and it will go great with an all white outfit. So I have a nude purse here on my list. Definitely want to pick up something crochet. I love crochet. Um, I have that sleeveless peekaboo top um, or cutout top. I do want a long sleeve cutout top, but I want it strategic. I want to be able to wear my bra with it, and I'm thinking maybe want to cut out here along the breast line. Um, nothing too crazy, but just a, a cutout there. Uh, I do still want a sweater dress. I'm still on the look for that. Still want a tartan scarf. I have that on my Amazon list and can't wait until this no buy is over so I can click submit. <laughs> I do want a silk blouse, but it's gonna have to be the right one, and I'm not very anxious to buy one. I do would, would like one. Um, definitely need my white straight leg jeans. I want that Michael Starr's varsity top. It, 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 I want it. <laughs> and the funny thing is, I think everybody who's gotten it in their boxes so far from Transcend has sent it back, but I want it. <laughs> um, I do want wide leg pants, particularly in linen or seersucker. Those are two fabrics that I don't own right now, and I would love to have them. I want ivory sole, ivory colored lug sole loafers, all right? So like a, a platform lug sole loafer in ivory to wear in, in spring transition. Um, I watched too much Sarah Kathleen and she got me hooked on the berets. You're gonna like, beret? Yeah, I, I want some berets. So I have those in my Amazon cart too right now. Um, I want a brown purse. My brown purse has had it. I might not wear it until fall or I might wear it in the spring, but I do want a brown purse. Um, I've been looking for this since last year. Closed toe linen espadrilles, all right? They're a wedge, so I want a wedge, um, and that kind of fits the platform style, and I want them closed toe to keep my toesies warm so it's not quite a full-on sandal yet. Still looking for my black moto faux leather jacket replacement. I'm still looking for chambray joggers or pants. Mint green jeans, still looking for those. Would like the pair of off-white jeans, like the ones I tried from a Good American, but they were just too tight, but I wouldn't mind another pair. Um, an ivory bucket purse. I know that's a, a high call, so if I don't find it, I don't find it. Um, I'm still looking for my replacement Peyton uh, Color Block Cardigan from Stitch Fix. I need some basic tees in pink, green, blue, and light gray, um, and I have an Amazon cart full of those. Still looking from last year, I'm looking for a blank tank dress and a black and white tank dress. Um, I want them form-fitting, but not bodycon, if that makes sense. And I seem to find any, I seem to find one extreme or the other, ones that just hang on me or ones that are completely bodycon and I have to suck it in all the time. And I'm not looking for something bodycon where I have to wear shapewear or feel the need to wear shapewear. Um, I wouldn't mind a sweatshirt dress, you know, something casual to throw on that looks a little bit elevated. Um, it would have to be one that has a waist, though. Again, not a must-have, but I would like to have. Obviously, nothing on this list is a must-have. <laughs> um, belts. I would like pink, navy, beige, and dark brown. 
All right, so been looking for these belts for a while now. I love White House black market belts that have the elastic in the back. If they have any of these colors for about 20 bucks each, they're gonna be mine. A cantaloupe top. Um, I don't have anything in cantaloupe and I kind of like that color. So it's kind of like, you know what cantaloupe looks like. It's kind of like a light orangish color. I would like something like that. Um, a black tankini bathing suit. I could use one. White jean shorts. I don't have any. Um, a sweater twin set. So maybe I would like a shrug with a sweater underneath since that's going to be in style. That would be really cool to have. I'm looking for a gray plaid blazer. I've been having, that, that's been on my list for a while. All right. Um, also on my list for a while is a fine gauge or gauge ivory uh, top. Not that I need another ivory sweater, but I don't have anything in like a fine. Um, it's more chunky what I own. Um, a red sweater and a green sweater. Believe it or not, I don't own either of those. Um, new to my list is, um, you know, I read some places they're saying the shimmer and sparkle trend's gonna continue and others didn't have it on there at all. And same with fringe. I know fringe was supposed to be a big thing and then I haven't seen it lately. So fringe and shimmer are not on my 22 trends list because I didn't see it in the things that I was looking at recently. Um, but I do want a light gold shimmer top. So nothing outrageous, nothing with sequins or anything, just a little shimmer. If I don't get it, it's no big deal, but I would not mind having it. Um, I only own one kimono. I wouldn't mind having one in fall colors. Uh, a camel wool coat, I don't have one. <laughs> um, I don't have an ivory or black camisole. That's been on my list for a while too. Um, a lace top in white or ivory. I don't own one of those. A bustier, which falls into the showing skin category. So I used to own one years ago, got too heavy, got rid of it, really regret getting rid of it. So this kind of goes here. I know a lot of you are purging your closets. Be careful what you purge because you might want that at a later time. So that's why I'm being very picky about what I purge because I've over purged in the past. Um, Another thing on my list, and again, it probably can wait till fall, is a feminine plaid top. I don't own a slip dress. I would like to try that trend. How about a turquoise short sleeve top? I've been looking for one for years. And I have not been able to find one the right shade. God knows I have enough shoes, but I wouldn't mind a replacement pair of white flip flops. You did not see that in my shoe collection because I had to get rid of them. They have died and were put to rest. So I wouldn't mind a pair of white ones. Corduroy jacket, like a blazer. I don't own one, wouldn't mind it. I'm still looking for an orange scarf and I'm very excited about the healed Mary Jane's trend. So those I would love to have. Um, so that is my list. Um, on top of this, something I forgot to write down, most important, I need new bras and underwear. <laughs> so that is my list for 2022 and that was the 22 trends list. Uh, what trends do you think you're gonna buy? Uh, I'm glad I did this because like I said if you know I might have went out and bought that bright colored top saying "Ooh, I like that top You know what? I have enough bright colored items that I'm not already wearing and it's not that I don't like them I like them. I just have so much so I am going to stay away from indulging in that trend and continue to use what I have and what my list is here are items that I don't currently own that I try want to add to my collection. Well, thank you again for returning subscribers. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm curious to see what other people are doing and I highly recommend you do the same thing as me, all right? You hear about the trends. I suggest you go into your closet and start pulling out things that meet these trends before you just do dive in and buy it because I think it's been very helpful for me and very helpful doing that faux pas series to realize how much I actually spend. Until you actually pull it all together and cluster them together, you don't realize how much you have. Click the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, click the notification bell, and take care and have a great holiday.